Hi there, and welcome to Nevada County Campus Library, and congratulations on becoming Wolverines. My name is Megan Quast, and I'm one of the librarians here. I started libraries quite a while ago. Um, the photo of me on the bottom is not doing cosplay. That's when I dressed up as Curious George at the Scholastic Book Fair in my first library job. But I do a lot of things outside of libraries too. So I like to paint and do some creative things. We go on lots of hikes. I'm a diehard 49ers fan, but maybe my favorite thing is my two dogs, Alan and Mo. Mo's the big guy on the left there and Alan's the smaller one on the right. So I want us all to take a minute here and think about when the last time we were in a library. So that could be either in the physical library or it could be going to their website using some of the resources there, like checking out an ebook. For some of us, it may have been fairly recently in the past month or six months. For some of us, it may have been like three years. Some of us may have never been in the library. So go ahead and take a minute, go to menti.com and type in the code that's on the top of this slide here and share when the last time you were in a library was. Now, for some of us who have never been in the library or who it's been a while, we need to lean into our pop culture references to get an idea of what libraries are about and what they can do for us. So I'd like to start us off with the Comartage Library from Doctor Strange 2016. Wong held that thing down. But when I watch this clip, I generally get this idea of the library being fairly serious, possibly unagreeable, definitely mysterious, but I also wonder about that bad lighting. I'm hoping no one's doing any reading in there. We might then consider 2013 Boho Hall Library with our library monster, Margaret. She definitely enjoys a quiet space. She sometimes can make that a scary space. Looking at this room, I'm thinking, it's kind of old and there are lots of books, but you know what, Margaret, I too appreciate a good knit. And then taking it back even further, we might try Biblioteca di San Barba Barnaba from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This guy has no name, but he is getting stuff done. He also appreciates his quiet, but I look at this clip and I think, this looks fairly old. This also looks fairly dusty, but it makes me wonder if there might be the opportunity for adventure in the library. So thinking about these pop culture references and thinking about our own trips to the library and some kind of background information that we might have, let's take a moment again and think about what words come to mind when you think of a library. Draw on those pop culture references, draw on your personal experiences, draw on those things that you've heard from friends and family. Go to menti.com using that same code and try thinking of three words that come to mind when you think of a library. So drawing on what I've been exposed to over the years, I come up with a few words. Usually the biggest ones that come up most often are quiet and books. But beyond that, folks come up with words like knowledge and shelves, even shh, which I think Margaret would appreciate. You have librarians. It can sometimes feel boring. There's information there. All sorts of words can come to mind. And you know what? All of those words are right because a library can be all of those things. A library can be a place of quiet study for independent reflection, but it can also be a space for collaboration and coming together, working with your fellow students. It can be a place to access technology. It can be a place to get help from a librarian or another peer who works in the building. Libraries are here to meet all of your needs, not just your quiet and book related needs. So for the Nevada County Campus Library, we've found that students who study in the Learning Resource Center have their grades increase by two full letter grades or 20%. That's a huge leg up on other students on campus. So let's take a minute and go to the library's website and look at what we can do for you during your time here. 
So now's the time I'm going to ask you all to engage in whatever method helps you remember information best. So it might be writing down notes by hand. It might be following along on the computer. It might just be sitting and watching. The point is I don't intend for us all to remember everything we cover today, but you want to have something that'll help you remember this when you need the information after the fact. So we're starting off on the library's homepage, which is sierracollege.edu slash library. This is going to be your starting point for anything relating to library, be it book and article discovery, space availability, computer availability, things like that. I'm going to go through a few things that are going to be most helpful for you during your time with Sierra College. And I'm going to start with scrolling down the library's homepage to our research databases page. So many of you are going to encounter an instructor who wants you to cite a scholarly article. And these are things we don't generally come across during our everyday lives. It's not going to be the New York Times or Washington Post. These are scholarly pieces written by experts in the field, and our subscription databases are a great place to get started on finding those because they contain filters that allow you to filter your results down to just those pieces that are scholarly. From the database list, you can either filter by subject, starting off with those databases that may be most helpful for your subject area, or you might even consider looking at the popular databases on the right hand side to figure out a place to start there. If you click on the library logo at the top of the page, that's going to take you back to the library's homepage. Another thing that may be helpful for you right down there next to the databases page is a link to the research guide. So these are guides that have been put together by librarians to consolidate resources that are most helpful for students across subjects and classes. So let's say we're in an English class. We might scroll down to English, and when we click on that, we'll find all English guides for that area. And thank goodness I'm in English 1A with Neptune. I might click on that link, and it'll take me to the guide. Here I have a guide that has books and videos, websites, and even information on how to cite sources that are going to be helpful for this students in this course working with this instructor. Back on the library's homepage again, something that most of us are probably familiar with with libraries is the catalog, which is the discover tool here in the middle of the library's homepage. You can search by keyword, author, title, any information you have for that resource you're interested in. So let's say I'm interested in pieces by Ibram X. Kendi. I would type in his name and then I can search. The catalog is going to pull up resources that contain those keywords I just put in. So those are going to be articles, books, and even videos. I can filter down the resources that I'm interested in using those filters on the right hand side. So I can identify those resources that are available online so I can access it from my computer at home. I can filter down to resources that are going to be immediately available at the Nevada County Campus Library. I can even specify the resource type. So letting the catalog know I'm interested in books, not articles containing these keywords. Something else that you can do in the library catalog that you may not have encountered in, say, a public library is the ability to search for course reserves. So course reserves are required readings for each of your classes that the library has access to in print. You can find resources for your class by clicking on this drop down menu in the search bar and clicking textbooks reserves. You can search by your course name, your course code, your instructor last name, or even try searching by the title. In this case, let's say, we know we're in an English class, so I'll type in the code ENGL for English and click on textbooks reserves. What comes up is going to be a list of the reserve titles that the library has access to for English. You can then narrow the scope by filtering by instructor name, course name, or even the course code. Going back to the library's homepage, there's one more thing I want to show y'all, and that's where to go in case you're hitting a roadblock. From the library's homepage, you can click on Ask a Librarian, and you're going to come up with all sorts of ways that you can get in touch with someone on the library team. 
You can call us, email us, use the Ask Us chat widget to get a hold of someone immediately. You can even text us if you have your cell phone available. The whole idea is if you hit a roadblock, you're not obligated to go through it on your own. The library team is here to help you in all aspects of your time as a student with Sierra College. It's what we love to do. So reach out to us if you have a question, comment, or a concern.